Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Real. I'm Killfun, aka That Boy Killfun, and I'm back with another video. Now, today we are going to be going over the best positions in NBA 2K21 current gen, starting from point guard all the way working all the way up to the center. So, um, I'm gonna say that this one was kind of a hard one, a kind of hard video to do because you know there's different there's different positions, there's different ways to play and everything like that. And let me start off by saying this is all opinion based. If you don't feel the same way, you can leave it down in the comment section. I mean, I'm gonna be down there, you know, talking to y'all and everything like that. But don't be afraid to sit up there and, and disagree or anything like that. And if you have a different build and you just wanna say what it is and you wanna say, but I agree with you, I disagree with you, leave it down in the comments. I do not care. You know, you guys, you all have your own opinion. So, you know, that's how it's just gonna be. Now, obviously the, the hardest ones to do for me were the shooting guard and the small forward, just because there are so many positions that you can go with. But I finally narrowed it down to the final two. So, um, like I said, this is all just opinion based. So don't get mad at my opinion. But if you have a different opinion, leave it down in the comment section. I'll be down there talking to y'all and everything like that. But before we even start this video, make sure that you subscribe to this video, turn on post notifications on, and like the video if you want to. Um, like I said, it's been helping me out, all these likes and everything like that. It really helps me out. It takes me a long way. Like I said, I'm trying to blow up. So I, like I said, I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can before next gen because next gen, I'm going to lock in for real, for real. And y'all going to see a, a different type of grind, no cap. But let's go ahead and get straight to this video. All right, so you see we here with this first position. Now, this is the pie chart of the green and yellow, green and yellow, because I know that my last video, I did not put the pie charts, and I apologize for that, but this is a green and yellow. This is a playmaking shot creator. Obviously, this is going to have to be the best build for the point guard. You see how many people have it, and you cannot pass up a build like this. I'm sorry. I just don't feel like any other build is, is even competing with the playmaker shot creator. So I'm going to show you how I made mine. I didn't make mine solid. It doesn't really matter how the body type is. I made mine 6'4", just so he does get that faster uh, shooting base. And I made mine minimum wingspan and minimum uh, weight. And I gave him the spot up shooter. Now, this is what his stats will look like at the end. Obviously, I'm a 99 overall, so you just can't beat a 97 speed with a 90, uh, a 96 acceleration and, and stuff like that. A 91 three-pointer and a 86 ball control boost that up, plus four. So you have a 95 three and a 90 ball control. You cannot beat that, bro, because defense is already going to be a big part of it. But you get 10 defensive badges, so I just feel like you can't, you can't literally lose on this build. This is one of the best builds, if not the best build in the game. You see, it's a reason why so many people have it. And um, yeah, that's just the playmaker shot creator taking it as number one for the PG build. Let's move on to number two. All right, so for this one, for the two guard, I had to go with the red and blue. The two-way slasher is a red and blue pie chart. It gets Hall of Fame defensive and Hall of Fame finishing, but it can speed boost. Now, let me go ahead and finish this build up for you guys. I want to make him 6'5", and I'm going to go with the lowest uh, weight. And the wingspan, if you bring it down to right here to 78.8, you can speed boost off rip. But a dude like me, I'm going to just wait till I hit 97 or uh, anything like that because you can... I'm pretty sure when he gets his takeover or a little bit of takeover, he'll be able to do a curry slide and everything like that. He just won't have the pro drill moves until 97. Now, he does get Hall of Fame finishing and defensive, and I was going to go a sharp shooting facilitator, but I just feel like those are more so spot ups, and I want a build that could do everything, and you know, you don't really need to shoot in this game as long as you have a shooter on your squad. So that's why I will give it to this red and blue build, but at the same time, it's all opinion based, so... You know, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all work that thing out, whatever. You can get more uh, playmaking badges if you don't want to put it on this free throw, more finishing or anything like that. But I just had to go red and blue. And I just, I couldn't really pass up on this build just because of the simple fact it could do legit, it could do legit everything. So we got a two-way finisher as a shooting guard. Now let's go ahead and move on to number three. 
All right, so for the three, I had to go ahead and go with the perimeter lockdown just for the simple fact that this build can do everything besides playmake. Now, it can dunk the ball, it can shoot the ball. It got 18 shooting badges, which go to Hall of Fame. It is a red and blue. I mean, not a red and blue. It is a red and green, my bad. So, it is a red and green. So, it gets Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame defense. And they can play the three through the five. So, I had to go ahead and give this probably the best build for a small forward. Now, this is all still opinion based. I know, depending on people's play style, I just know that a lot of people, they choose a small forward and they'll be like sharp shooting facilitators, two way finishers, anything like that. But I just really, really Really like this build and playing with this build is really really good because you could switch and if you have a point guard who can't really play defense you can always rely on this build to put the clamps on the, uh, the one guard so obviously I had to go ahead and go with this build now you should already know what the four and the five is that, that shouldn't even have to be explained but for the three and the two guard I'm sorry but it was very very hard to decide on which one I wanted to go with and I did not just want to go with you know with a full green or a full blue or anything like that I, I pretty much wanted to do a uh, two like um two pie chart um build so obviously i had to go with this one and i did not want to go with a two-way finisher again so i'm gonna go ahead and go with the uh perimeter lockdown you can see if you leave it as a default you can get sharp shooting take over and you can get lock take over and it can really play center and three through the five so you have nothing to complain about so that's why i would give it the small four best build this year now let's go ahead and move on to the four all right, so for the four, I had to go ahead and go with the glass cleaning finisher. Now, I cannot count how many times I've seen this build in the park, how many people have this build that I know. It's just literally one of the builds that it, it literally is amazing. Now, I know I see a lot of people that have the full red, and I know a lot of people that regret it, and they kind of wish that they went red and blue just because you get that Hall of Fame contact finisher and Hall of Fame, de uh, Hall of Fame defense and finishing badges. Now, with an 88 driving dunk and a 74 speed and seven playmaking badges, there is nothing, nothing that is stopping this build when it gets to the paint. Now, this build plays the four and it plays the center. I know a lot of people that they, they automatically just push themselves to the center just because after you automatically start at 6'9 with a 74 speed. When you get that to 99, bruh. You literally have what is that a, like an 82 speed or something like that? A 82 speed. You're able to switch with the guards. You're able to guard guards. You're able to do everything on this build. I really, really do like this build. I wish I would have made one, but at the same time, I, I only have a center and I only have a point guard, so I'm not making any other builds. But just shout out to all my glass cleaning finishers. Y'all are so appreciated out there. Whether you're being a full red or you're a red and blue, I know a lot of people that wish they went red and blue. That's why I will say this one. And um. You get the you get the option. Obviously, you will max out as weak fan. You have to because you get that 91 drive and dunk. You get that 95 standing dunk and the defensive badges and all, like the rebound and everything. It's ridiculous. You get the choice of three freaking takeovers, which is the slasher, glass cleaning, and rim protector. I will probably go either slasher or glass cleaner, depending on what position you're gonna play. If you're gonna play the center, I will go glass cleaner. But if you want to dunk on a lot of people. Choose the slasher, man. I promise you, this build goes crazy. So shout out to all my glass cleaning finishers. You guys deserve the rifle spot as the number four best build in NBA 2K21. Now let's go ahead and get on to the five. All right, I know I might get a lot of hate for putting this build in the video, but you cannot lie. This build goes freaking nuts on offense, and it does the job on defense. It is a all blue interior force. Now, obviously, you do not need 30 finishing badges at all, but if you're going to go ahead and you're going to make this build and you want to be a loser like this, because that's what they are. Interior Force, if you sit up there and post hook all day, you are a loser, but it is very hard to stop, especially if the dude knows how to center the ball every single time. It is impossible to stop. Now, I went against two of these in the rec center. I just literally went against one yesterday, and he dropped 40 on me just doing post hooks. My whole entire team was guarding him, and I just, we all could not stop it. I had a glass cleaning finisher out there. I had me out there who's a paint beast, and it, it just, it's unstoppable. It's just, like, you can't even begin to, to think how hard it is to stop this freaking build. Now, obviously, this is the, probably the most hated build in 2K21, but it is, it deserves its rifle, rifle spot as the number five best build. So, I, I mean, I, you can complain, but at the end of the day, these dudes, they're, they're ridiculous. Now, obviously, you go max your wingspan out. You get them uh, 75 driving dunks. You can go ahead and go a little bit more crazy with the driving dunks. But as far as it goes, you get that post score badge. You're not being stopped, man. You're really not. You're really not. It, it's not even going to be fair. 
let me just show you how many badges you can actually put on this freaking build because let's go ahead you see it's an interior finisher let's go ahead to finish this video off before we finish this video make sure that you hit that subscribe button turn the post notifications on and make sure you like this video let's go ahead and boost them up to a 99 and let's just see all you need right here is pro touch deep hooks drop stepper post hook finisher i mean back down punisher consistent finisher contact finisher um and that those are pretty much it anything else is just basically it's just anything that you want those are literally the only ones you need how many is that that's six times four which is 24 so all you need is 24 badges all you really need is 24 badges maybe even throw on relentless finisher you can you can do anything that you want but this build it is ridiculous bro it is ridiculous and i hate each and every person who has this build and um I hope 2K21 you make the worst build. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hate y'all. But let's go ahead and get to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure that you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel and turn the post notifications on and like the video if this did help you out or if you just liked it for pure enjoyment. Um, this has been your boy Real. I'm Kill Fun. Hopefully, I will see y'all in the next video. Going, I'm uh going ahead and I try to upload tomorrow. I'm gonna try to start doing daily uploads, but making content for this game is kind of getting hard because you know we only got that month left and a lot of people stopped playing this game. So if you are still here and you still rock with me, uh, leave it down in the comments. And uh, you know I always appreciate everybody that you know they rock with me from day one and everything like that. So I gotta appreciate y'all just for when we do blow up. I cannot forget about y'all. So y'all go ahead and comment. Leave them comments down below if you are um you know support me from the beginning and you did watch this full video but this be your boy real i'm kill fun aka that boy kill fun and i will catch y'all in the next video peace look can you see the eight I've been in the darkness of my heart and it ain't safe I ain't really here but I know that it's okay Cause I die, don't drown, I can walk across the lake these